So this is what the PDF textbook would look like using Adobe Reader on a Mac. On a PC, it should be pretty much the same. As you can see, you can see the main page and you can scroll through it. Obviously, you can resize it to get different size pages as you need. One of the things you'll find is that it may not be the easiest way to go through a document like this in one page at a time. One of the nice advantages is if you click on the thumbnail tab, you can see the individual thumbnails for different parts of the text and click on them to jump to different areas of the text as you see fit. The other aspect of using a PDF textbook as a download is that it still has a lot of the connectivity and hyperlinks that are built into normal web page type setups. So if you will notice, every one of these chapter headings is in fact a hyperlink to the chapter itself. So we can click on one, jump to the chapter, and then be able to navigate through it. We can navigate through it on the side by scrolling through different pages, or even better, you can actually click on each subheading of the chapter to jump to a new portion of the chapter itself. So it's a very quick way to navigate around throughout the text, and there's other areas where certain things are going to be URLs or hyperlinks where you can jump back and forth within the text. Now, jumping around in the text, you may get a little bit lost, and there's a couple ways to get back to where you need to be rather quickly and easily. If you go to the top of the page, some pages will be starting with a chapter title. Right? If you click on that, that's a URL that jumps you back to the beginning of the chapter. Other pages have the title of the text itself. Clicking on it jumps you to the brief table of contents, so you can jump to another chapter entirely. So these are very useful uh, tools in order to navigate things. Now, the other benefit to having a, the PDF document in Adobe Reader is that you can get some information about words and things in the text directly as long as you're connected to the internet. So if we click on a word that you may not know what it means, you can highlight it, right click on it, and look it up. Now, unlike Preview, Adobe Reader doesn't have the greatest dictionary attached to it. It sends you to a web uh, resource where it will download the definition from dictionary.com. Whether or not that's an accurate definition for chemical terms may or may not be true, but it at least gives you a chance to get some more insight and information about things you may not understand in the text as you are reading it. Now, the other thing that's useful about a PDF textbook is the fact that you can make changes to the textbook just like you would a paper textbook if you've downloaded it. If you're using it online, you can't do these things, but as a download, as your own PDF, you can make a lot of variations. One of the things you can do is you can highlight things. If there's something that's interesting to you or you think is important, just go right ahead and highlight it. So select it and highlight, you'll change colors. Right. You can also use the comment tab over on the right side of the PDF to select different types of highlights and where they are. Now the nice thing about Adobe Reader is it'll actually let you see your comments and you can search your comments in the find list. So you can highlight whatever you feel needs to be highlighted. Uh, right, so you can click on the highlighter, grab a section and say, okay, I feel this is all important. Right. So you can highlight things. You can also add a sticky note to the chapter. All right, so you can type something in, and you will have that for reference later. Now, it does disappear to some extent once you've made it, but if you hover over the bubble icon, it will pop back up. You can double click on it to alter it and move it around as needed. Additionally, if you have a section that's highlighted that you no longer want to keep highlighted, you can right click and delete it, or just use a delete key to get rid of it. All right. The find list will help you search for things that have terms you need in them so you can find them and you can just mark things up and use a textbook in that sense. So there's a lot of functionality built into it and hopefully this helps you use it.